This is a story of compassion. It's a story of two American cities working together to save a child. What happened was he was playing late, well, late one afternoon, about 6 p.m., in the city in Kananga, playing hide and seek with some of his friends. And he went into a little, uh, a little power station that didn't have any security on it, no door or anything. He was able to go in there. And uh, he touched something that, and got electrocuted. And um, another child actually died. He was operated on a surgery suite that has open windows, uh, bugs on the windowsill. A lot of times there are no lights there. I know I've been there. It's a, it's a, um, it, it survives only because of its big heart. So it is a miracle that this child survived that. This happened two years ago. A mission worker took a picture of Badi Banga and sent it to Midge and Barb and Barb's husband. This was two years ago and they started working and the, one of the first people they called was Dr. Jeremy Government. And, um, and Dr. Government, you know, without hesitation said, yes, I'm going to help this child. All right. The good news is, and you can tell them, I think that um, with, we can, we, we'll be able to help him a lot. Um, with some, with with, a, with just a few surgeries, we can make a huge difference for him. He doesn't talk very much, but he seems to understand what's going on. What does he seem to have um, liked the most about coming to America? Oh well, he would like to. He would like to go to school. He'd like to learn. This is a story of compassion. It's a story of two American cities working together to save a child. We had to get visas to get out of the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is no small feat. Um, that was very, very difficult. We did it. We raised money. Um, we raised money for flights. We raised money for visas. Um, and then doors just started opening. Um, the, the people, the connections, to get this child here is just, it, it really is um, really nothing short of a miracle. So I can't say enough about the Shriners and their commitment to this child. Um, the mayor, uh, Mayor Tom Menino, opened the door. Um, he got the Catholic Charities involved. I guess now that he's here, it's been a long time in the making. <laughs>